do for now. The, uh, the assistant commissioner of police in Lagos. He was sworn on this station. He told us that uh, there were over 20,000 policemen have been deployed. But uh, where were they? They were nowhere to be found. Are we surprised about the performance of the police? In fact, we should be shocked. Absolutely. Because in Kano, the police commissioner, when he was confronted with the fact that a, a young man, an underage child, was, was found with a, a voter's card, okay. what, what did he say? I'll, I'll let you know. What so I played this is not professionalism that the president wanted. And the president should ask the inspector general of police what happened to all the equipment that they collected Absolutely. and what happened to the money. Yeah. That's why he money. Absolutely. That Nigerian policemen collected. Yes. To ensure discipline in this election at the polling unit. Absolutely. My, my question really is how did thugs even get into some polling units? I'll let you know. Some political thugs that were attacked or that attacked polling units were even said to have threatened voters who were not there to vote for their party in Agudasu Lere at a polling unit located at Paintola Giwa Street. A thug alleged to be an agent of the All Progressives Congress, named Schoolboy, asked voters that weren't voting for the APC to leave the polling unit. Fine, if you saw that, <coughs> that fog, people confirmed that he's so popular in Surulere, he goes around with even armed police officers. People know who he is. How did he get into that polling unit? Oh, I'm not surprised. Culture will eat strategy for breakfast. I've said that a billion times here. And that is what is happening. It is only in this country you see thugs have police protection. They are as big as the states themselves. It is a country of a lot of thuggery. Thugs are dominating. They lead while others follow. They do things and get away with it. They kill people and go scot-free. So we are not surprised. If a known thug can be going around with police escorts, what society are we living? And that's why when the police uh, spokesperson said that very, very terrible thing, and please, leave it alone there. Somebody should warn him. He should never have repeated such a statement. Because that police officer could actually take on that person that came to steal the power box. That's an abdication of duty and responsibility. Who even trains these spoke police spokespeople when they even talk sometimes? What happened to the glowing days of the life of the Frank Umba as police spokesperson in Lagos? What temerity. The police officer could have taken on that man. You can see the citizens running after and catching the, the ballot box. And he said, what would the police officer have done? If he doesn't know what to do with Twitter, he should go and delete his Twitter account. Nonsense. What are we doing in this country? Yeah, very, it's those are, those are people that came out, stayed there for hours to vote. And you are saying what, what the police should have, uh, should have been done. If he doesn't know what to do with Utah, he should delete his Twitter account and not even have a means of communication and just issue out statements. It's as simple as that. You can't have police abdicate responsibility. The police officer could have taken on those people and brought back those, those ballot boxes. But you left them there, you didn't say anything. I'm sure the police too will say, oh, they didn't see this person threatening fire and brimstone here. I'm sure they say they don't know him. They know him. If he's a popular top, they should ought to have gone and arrest, arrest him by now. But they will also feign ignorance that they don't know him. Because why? We have seen on cameras how talks now have police escorts yes, we have. in this country. So you see, it's, it's now become a leadership of people that glorify talks. Thugs are giving honorable measures to the party. Thugs are staying in Banana Island. Right. Thugs are becoming It's kings. unacceptable, Ayo. There were so many stories coming out of this election. I'll yeah. take one more before I come to you. There were also reactions trailing reports of underage voters found oh. casting their votes in some polling units, especially in the north. Videos of young voters showing off their voter cards were also captured in the east. In Kano State, a video of a young boy showing off his PVC made the rounds on social media. He was also seen with, he was also seen with 
the new note, the new 1,000 Naira note, when the police commissioner in the state was asked why underage voters were found at the polling units, he said there was no way of telling if someone was a minor. Yeah, we saw uh, the massive presence of minors, children, obviously, from their look, uh, indiscriminately unchecked at various polling centers. Uh, couldn't this have been better organized to prevent minors from penetrating, the, uh, from being part of this voting exercise? Uh, the, is, it is very difficult to uh, determine by, by, by mere appearance who is, who is a minor or not. Uh, most of the ones you are seeing, maybe they are genetic, they, they are, uh, their growth rate might be uh, impaired. So, uh, I don't know, all those that you see voting, they are, they are those that have been approved by ANEC and I cannot change it. Well, this story is, you know, we have to discuss it, but Dr. Bati, I believe we have some breaking news. Well, I mean, I, it's there on the screen, Labour Party wins Lagos with 582,454 votes. Uh, we had reported earlier on that, uh, you know, out of the uh, 20 local governments yes. uh, of, uh, in Lagos State, uh, Labour uh, was, uh, you know, gaining more votes and was also contesting winning uh, many of the uh, local government areas. Yes. And we had uh, a valuable Rose Bible, gubernatorial candidate of the Labour Party, on this program. And in fact, he was even saying that even with the excellent showing, with the good showing, uh, I must say, of the Labour Party in Lagos, that they were still contesting uh, some of the results because they, their own tally is still, you know, more than what has been announced in favor of the Labour Party. Yeah. Where we see the electoral map in Lagos State uh, changing gradually. Will this have implications for the gubernatorial and House of Assembly elections on March 11, where that remains uh, to be seen? But definitely, Lagos State is one of the major battleground states in this election mm -hmm. or any other election since 1999. Yeah, you talked about the Labour Party um, challenging results. I guess I'll take this story because it tallies with the conversation, and then we'll come to you, Ayo. Well, as results began trickling in from the INEC Collation Center, the Labour Party has accused INEC officials, especially in Lagos, Edo, Rivers, and Imo states of manipulating and manufacturing results following videos shared by supporters of the Labour Party, showing the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, in the lead at their various polling units. 